Welcome everybody to this week's Wonder Studios and Calculator Update. Why am I yelling? Because the writer's strike <laughs> is over. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! Right. The, the longest writer's strike in history was in 1988. Fun fact for the day. And it was 153 days. Okay. When this strike started, we thought there's no way. There's, there's no way it's going to be that long. Maybe a month. And it ended up being 148 days, which is just shy of five months. Five months of not being able to move forward with this script. But now it is over. And uh, we have some great news for you. And I would like Paul to, to talk about it. What is the latest news about the script? Well, the, the best news is um, I was I was five days short of just becoming a Starbucks barista. I was going to invite all of us to just toss it in and become Starbucks baristas. Um, thank God we didn't have to do that. And um, as soon as the strike ended, we reconnected with Ann Peacock, our screenwriter. She is pumped. She is working on the final touches of her revision of the second draft. We're hoping to get that in the next couple of weeks. What did and, she say? Uh, what did she say? She said something interesting. She it was it was great. First of all, you know, she expressed how excited it is she is, and and we also talked about our days working on Narnia together. Um, that was a lot of fun, the behind the scenes stories. But um, her last comment uh, when she went back into the the war room of of working on the script was, "Hold on to your hats." Yes. Yes. Because she's excited about where she's going with it. I right. mean, we had a great, we have a great script to begin with. We're already really far along, but um, we're all hoping we get to um, that just hit it out of the park script. Yeah, we yeah. know we need to get to that because our film is never going to be better than our script. Right. Yep. And there's, there's reasons why we are taking this long on the script is like, as Paul just said, you're no better than your script is. And uh, I've been a part of many projects that I've been given the script to analyze, you know, as a consultant. And I had a list of things and, and they ignored some of them sometimes. And when the movie finally came out, the criticisms for the film were the exact same things that were the criticisms in the script. And so we we have to get through all of those. And the script has, to, as John says, it has to be a cracked script, fully cracked. So uh, that it takes the next. Go ahead, Paul. Go ahead, Paul. I just want to I just want to just let everybody know it, it commonly takes years to get a script, right? There's another very high profile project that I'm connected to. It's a, um, it's a sequel to an extremely successful movie. And um, they've been working on that sequel script for at least 10 years. And it's been multiple writers. There were actually two scripts that were really good. And they were trying to figure out, OK, how do we merge these or how do we take some from one? So it's complicated. It takes a long, long time. And um, they well, don't shoot. Measures, now our measures are terrified. You just said 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to take us 10 years. We're getting close. We're getting close. Yeah. Uh, and so it's an adaptation, which makes a big difference. Yeah. I mean, Paul was part of uh, Paul Lauer. Here. He was part of Narnia, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And that was a, an adaptation from a novel. And uh, same writer. So uh, we got a lot of the same team here. Now, uh, I want to kind of move on to the next section about uh, American film market, which is where we're going at the end of October. We just came back from TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival, and people were very interested in Calculator. And the first thing these distributors asked for, can I see the script? And we didn't give it to them because the, the version that we currently have is not quite where we want it to be. We don't want to give them a an 80% version. We want to give them a 100% version because we don't want them to go, yeah, that, that's that's great. That's great. Um, we'll, we'll think about it. We want to give them something where they go, I have to be a part of this. I have to be a part of this movie. So that's what our goal is with this script. So John, going to AFM, I'd like you to explain what is the difference between TIFF, the film festival, and American film market? Yeah, it's, it's it, just what you emphasized and that's that it's a market. <clears throat> and TIFF, TIFF has a market uh, aspect to it. But the festival kind of leads the way. There's no festival at all at the uh, at AFM. It uh, starts on a Tuesday, ends on a Saturday. It's all trading from early to late. In fact, most of the people take off on Friday um, and and just uh, break down their their offices on Saturday. But we literally take over a hotel in Santa Monica. The, well, the first nine floors of the hotel. <laughs> so that's a big portion of it, and. Uh, 
We're on the ninth floor, something uh, Paul insisted upon because he wants to be above everything. He wants to have the view. He wants to be in the right position. And he put on the, I noticed, Paul, he put on the the uh, form, the order form, that it needed to be closest to the elevator, which is a really smart thing to do because when you're way down at the end of a hallway, um, you're always looking down the hallway to wondering if people are going to get to where you are. But if you're in the first of line, kind of a pretty well place but that's why he's uh, uh paul well thomas actually my, i thought my first request was we were going to be in the elevator so people <laughs> could not miss could us, not miss us. Get a real yeah. elevator pitch yeah <laughs> get so, come and go anyway so it's going to be there are, there are uh, distributors from all over the world uh, just to give you a sense of of how many more distributors than tiff there's about 80% of the distributors that did not show up at TIFF that will be uh, at the, at AFM. So it's it's packed. It's a fraction of the time, uh, and it's it's more it's business from early to late. Nobody's there, you know, uh, uh, for a festival experience. And, and Paul, yeah. you, you had mentioned kind of what our what our goals were. We're not we're not there to close a deal. Uh, in your words, you kind of finish what you had said earlier. Uh, to me yeah yeah by the way i said that on take one of this uh update yeah. we we rolled through the entire update and then steven informed us that somehow the record button <laughs> didn't get hit so we just want you to know we're really good at making films including yeah. small films and oh, um right. you know, hitting, hitting the start button <laughs> the lens, the lens yeah. cap is still on the camera so. and, <laughs> no. sorry, steven. Oh man, uh, you're gonna get me back for that one. I know because uh, I, I just I will because <laughs> I mean, how how many times have we done this? We, we've done these these updates for for a few years, like weekly, and I've never done that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this, this is the <laughs> first time, first time and, ever. And here's how I'm gonna redeem you, anyway, Stephen. Stephen's a guy that actually cut and produced our sizzle trailer, which has been blowing people away. Our calculated sizzle trailer. Um, so he really is a good filmmaker, despite the fact that he may, may not press the record button. button. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so AFM, listen, we're trying to get um, lots of suitors. We're trying to um, seed the market right now. We it, it worked perfectly at TIFF. It's great that we don't yet have the script because people are chomping at the bit, and it's just creating more and more interest and curiosity and demand. And we're going to continue that process at American Film Market. We're not ready to cut a deal. We do have to finish our script. We got to pull a few more things together. But we are ready to look really attractive and to get people really excited and chomping at the bit. And that's that's what we're going for. Jason, on on the previous uh, recording that didn't get recorded, you said something very interesting about well, yeah. Know, well, what, one of the things that stood out is. Um, what happened was we reached out to and met with a pretty major producer um, and she read the novel and then oh, over the weekend and then she read it again because <laughs> she's very excited about it. And uh, but one of the main things she pointed out, Stephen, uh, you'll you'll love this is she said that sizzle reel you guys created. That thing is gold. Wow. She's amazing. Wow. <clears throat> Didn't she also say that? As far as stories right now, there is nothing out there in the market that is like calculated. That was her words. Yeah, yeah. and this is the point in the last in the last recording where Paul also pointed out that although we can't tell you who this producer is, <laughs> yeah, her last two films have done uh, close to a billion dollars, so um, she knows what she's talking about. All right, guys. Uh, Dan, I haven't heard a word from you on this call. Have oh I? gosh, I got. I just got to say, I think we're going to miss Thomas and Terry O'Reilly. The O'Reillys famously came to they the show. Toronto Film Festival, and man, if we can always have them at our meetings, they helped. I think they helped sell it better than we did at the, some <laughs> of the pitches. So yes, I, anyone out there who really wants to be a part of this process, please raise your hand. Email us at fans at we go one.org because we are interested in, in engaging uh, the advisory council members. Uh, you are open to come with us on some of these events. And um, that, that was an experience. I think that would be something we would enjoy if there were another couple who would like to come. 
Yeah. yeah, and if, if if any of you are in L.A. during the dates of uh, AFM, uh, John, give us the dates again. 1031 through the 4th. <clears throat> so that's yeah. a Tuesday through Saturday. What hotel? Yeah, we'd love to meet. What hotel? Le Meridien. In Santa Monica? <clears throat> yeah, it's on Pico. Okay. So first, first year for this hotel. It's been at um, the Lowe's Hotel in Santa Monica for almost 30 years. And yeah. anyway. We tell you where it is because inevitably, whenever we go somewhere, some of our fans and investors like to show up. And visit. <laughs> they do. We love it. Yeah, so it's, don't go it's always back. really awesome. They come with their calculated sweatshirts and T-shirts and hats and take pictures with their family. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> so Not required, but if you do yeah. wear our gear, that's even better. Well, I hope every single one of you guys who joined in on the um, uh, the hoodie promo got your hoodies. They've all they were all mailed out as of like two weeks ago. So. Um, yeah, well, that's all we got for today, guys, I do believe. And just want to say to our investors, we're so grateful for you guys for always keeping up and, and emailing us and asking us questions. And someone had like the, the, the minute the strike was over, someone had sent an email, Hey, so what's going on now? The strike is over. So, um, <laughs> there you have it guys. Uh, bless yeah, you guys. I want to make one final comment because I know, um, a lot of the investors on the phone are also part of the calculated sequels raise, not just the calculated raise. And just know, all of you sequels investors, that everything we're doing on Calculated is for your benefit. Because if this first one, if we if we can nail it on the first one and have success, that of course just opens the door for the sequels. And um, and I think that's one of the reasons why that unnamed producer we mentioned earlier said there's nothing else like this out there. It's really hard to find a franchise of more than one movie. They're almost always based on a book franchise. And um, there's really nothing like calculated and sequels. So uh, super excited to be representing both the calculated investors and the sequels investors. Yeah. Rock on. That's a great point, Paul. Great point. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us this week. And uh, we'll see you guys again real soon. Till then. Hasta. Thanks, Jan. God bless.